Hey, welcome to Frozen or Boxed. My name is Michael, and I'm your fast food foodie taking you on the journey of either frozen foods or prepackaged boxed foods. Today, let's see what the magic cabinet has for us. And this is going to be interesting. Dr. Prager's broccoli case. Gluten-free. Savory blend of broccoli, potatoes, and onions. Great as a snack, side, or meal. This was going to determine whether or not this is enough for a meal. Okay, let's, let's see how this works out. Okay, so for nutrition facts, 130 calories there's per serving, three containers, so around 390 calories total for this entire box. Uh, sodium, 10%, so it won't be too salty, which is good. And as for vitamins, vitamin A, 20%, and then just a little vitamin C, iron, and calcium. So this might be, might be actually pretty healthy. As for cooking instructions, it says you have oven, toaster, oven, preferred method, or you can do, it has a different versions, you can do skillet or even microwave, because we just have a little time today, let's just try the, uh, the toaster oven method, which says um, heating it to 450 and then baking five minutes and then flipping again for after four minutes. Okay, so once you open up the box, what you, what you actually encounter are individual, they're all individually packaged like this. And it requires that you put it into a, uh, a baking pan, which we kind of have right here, and put it into an oven. And what it means is in five minutes, just come back, we flip it, and then put it in for another four minutes. Okay, the four minutes are up. And let's see how this looks. But it looks good. Yeah. And let's, uh, let's do the, we have to figure out, does this look exactly like it does in the box? The box definitely looks a little crispier and browner, but maybe if you use the skillet, you'd see that a little bit more. But here they definitely have some brownness that you see that has kind of happened in the baking part of it. Um, but I'd say, yeah, it looks fairly close to what you actually get in the box. Not bad. Let's see and taste how these are going to be. Let's see the fork on it. Just opening it up right now with the fork. And... Not my old crunchy. But it doesn't have a lot of taste. It's not really salt. We granted there wasn't as much salt as we said. And... It's a little, a little bland, so, but I guess you know you can add, probably add some like salt or pepper on it on top of it. I wish it were, I wish it were a little crispier, so maybe then we can put it in the oven longer. But I just follow the directions: five minutes, then flip it, then four minutes. Okay, so afterwards, I actually put two of the pieces back into the oven to see whether or not giving them a little bit more time will actually make make them taste a little bit better. So I'll put them in for another five minutes, and here. They definitely come out definitely a lot browner, and we'll see whether or not they taste any different. It tastes around the same, but the nice thing about it, it's a little crispier and crunchier on the outside. So if I were to rec make any recommendations on this, is saying that this definitely needs to be in the oven a little bit longer if you do the oven method. And I'm just making sure that it really is crispy on the total outside and keeping an, keeping an eye on that. Come here. Right? He's like, no, no, does he want it? Does it pass the keto challenge? No, it does not. He's kind of the finicky one, so it doesn't pass that one. Okay, so this didn't pass the keto challenge, but now we're going to give it a shot to see whether or not Zoe, Zoe like this, and she just has a little piece of the crunchiness of it. Oh, I had to cheat everything. There, she's, she'll bite off my finger if she could. She's licking it. So, it definitely... Okay, Kato, no. Zoe, yes. So, I guess in a nutshell, we have to figure out, do you eat it or don't eat it? This one's a tough one. I would... I'm really conflicted on this. If you add... If you add a little bit more spice to it, if you add a little bit more salt or pepper or something like that, I'd say eat it. So, there. That's easy to do, doesn't take much time to do that, just add a little salt and pepper. So I'd say, eat it. 
Thanks for joining us on this episode of Frozen or Box. Come back to us next time to see what the magic cabinet has for us. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us on Frozen. What was that?